What's up guys, so welcome back in DaVinci Resolve. Now I am actually in DaVinci Resolve 16 right now because what I'm going to show you right now is the difference between DaVinci Resolve 16's Rec. 709 and extended video for pocket cinema cameras and Blackmagic cameras and DaVinci Resolve 17's Rec. 709 video and extended video uh color profiles and we'll show you that right now i have four clips here that were shot with the ursa mini pro 12k so let's go ahead and go to the color tab okay so let me go ahead and change this back to waveform and i'm going to shrink it a little bit so you can see it a little bit better here and make it bigger right okay so under the raw tab in the ventures of 16 and 17 i'm going to go ahead and change this to clip and we are going to be using Gen 5 color science. So that's not going to change. We're not going to change it to Gen 4. But what changes if I go right here at color space, if I leave that to black magic design and I change the gamma to video, this is the Venturi's of 16's black magic design video. And you're seeing that right now. And then what I'm going to do is change this to extended video. And now you can see that. So I have the waveform so you can see the difference because whenever we go to the Venture Resolve 17, you are going to see it a little bit different. So I'm doing it this way because pictures can kind of change and exports can change, but now you are seeing it as I am developing this, okay? So moving on to this clip right here, we have an indoor shot of my wife. Let's do the same exact thing. If I go to Blackmagic Design, we're going to go to Video, okay? That's what it's doing right there. As you can see, I'm going to press Control F. That's what you're seeing right now. And then I'm going to go to extended video. All right? And that's extended video right there. And let's go ahead and go back to this one so you can see it with video. All right? You can kind of see that the sky is a little bit overexposed right there. I didn't change any of the settings. I am doing it as I shot it. Okay? So same here video right here we're gonna see that it's pretty nice right control f you can see that outdoors and then we're gonna do extended video as well so you can see there's just uh, less contrast really when you're using the extended video lut moving on this is actually a uh, stills from the ursa mini pro 12k this is an 80 megapixel stills from the ursa mini pro 12k so we can do the same exact thing to this so if i go to video you will see that it's going over to 1023 and then if i go to extended video you're going to see that you're getting some of that back. So here we are. We have all of this in DaVinci Resolve 16. And what we're going to do next is go to DaVinci Resolve 17 on my main computer. So I can show you the difference between the two. All right, guys. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right here. The Windows version. Okay, so I have the waveform here. And I have the same exact four clips that we worked on in DaVinci Resolve 16. So I have this one, this one, this one. And then the image. The 80 me megapixel image so let's go ahead and go to the color tab and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did so let's go ahead and reset uh right here black magic design i'm going to change it to video and automatically right away you are going to see that with the new uh black magic design video you do get some of those highlights back now these the uh, these gamma guys this is just a great starting point so if you if you want something quick or something like that if you're on a, doing a wedding or something like that and you just want to slap something quickly that's fine but i just want to let you know that this is not limiting you from tweaking a lot of the settings in the vintage resolve okay this is just kind of like the profile that comes with the camera if you were to buy it like you know like a regular rec 709 camera so uh right away you will see that the highlight roll off in the new video black magic design video is a lot better than the old one because like i said previously i was not a fan of the color profiles that came with the cameras but after messing around with this rec 709 here in the new davinci resolve 17 this is a lot better it's a lot better start than the previous version okay so let's go ahead and move along and to speed this up i'm gonna go ahead and alt one and i'm just gonna paste everything here so control one and you're gonna see right there that's what it looks like all right so that's the design video looks really nice 
much better roll off and then we're going to go with the extended video and as you can see it doesn't change it as drastically as davinci resolve 16's extended video okay so if i go here i forgot to do this one extended it's just slightly changing all right so let's go ahead and move to our third clip i'm going to control one and apply that same exact thing and as you can see there it's a lot more pleasing than what it was in the Vintage Resolve 16. A, it's not as contrasty. A, it's not really that much contrasty and it's not that much saturation. It looks much more natural and neutral. All right. And whenever I switch it to extended video, again, it doesn't flat out the image as much as it did in the Vintage Resolve 16. All right, moving on to the stills, we're gonna do the same exact thing, Control-1. You're gonna see a lot more controlled, a lot less contrast, again, in the Blackmagic Design video. All right, so let's go ahead and change it to Extended Video, again, to slight change, and not as drastic as the Vintage Resolve 16. All right, so uh, right now, as far as I know, unfortunately, these changes right here are not in your color management right here. It's not going to be here yet as far as I know. So you won't be able to see it here. It looks like it's still Gen 4, right? Yep, you don't see Gen 5 yet. And additionally, it is not in your CSD. So if we go to my color transform, it's not going to be in your color space transform yet. I'm pretty sure it is going to make it in there. So you can see they really do need to update these because I'm in Gen 4. You know it's it's just not there yet but it will be there eventually i'm pretty sure all right guys like i said if you have any questions let me know and thanks for watching